Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking at how to add more power to your guys' games. Today we're gonna look at the forehand side. I think it's a term most of you guys have heard before. Um, the term is coil, okay? And I'm gonna bring it up today even though you guys know a lot about the idea of coiling, simply because I still get questions, how do I add power? And a lot of times it's, it's understanding these ideas, but you guys aren't using them uh, to the best of your ability. Okay, so coiling, I like the analogy of the rubber band, right? If I held a rubber band at two ends and twisted one end until I couldn't twist anymore and then let go, you get this really violent kind of unraveling of a rubber band, right? And that's how we like to think of our bodies when we're talking about setting the racket um, on a forehand, backhand, whatever. Today we're looking at the forehand side. All right, so. I think a couple mistakes that are made and, and why you guys keep asking me how do I get more power is simply because you're not getting that really elastic feeling with the upper body, okay? Two things usually are the culprit. One, you guys will be open stance because, you know, this is pretty much the way to hit the modern forehand. You guys will be open stance but the shoulders will not set, you know, all the way to the side and therefore the body doesn't have that, that kind of wind up where we can unleash back to the ball. We're basically taking their arm back and therefore only the arm comes through. And there's a severe limit to how hard you guys can hit the ball when you're just arming the stroke, okay? The other culprit is that the, the upper body gets turned but we go closed stance. And a lot of times, you guys in the closed stance position don't end up releasing the upper body really well through the shot simply because closed stance can leave us feeling a little bit stiff. And therefore, even though we're turned to the side, we're simply not coiled because we didn't move our hips off the lower body. And that's the big idea we want to have here is from the waist up, we're trying to turn off of the lower body. And now, you know, the upper body has that nice tight feeling that I've set everything back and now it's time to unleash, okay? So be very careful with your closed stance forehands that you guys set back and you don't get that really explosive turn feeling, all right? So let's look at a couple where I'm doing them wrong. Here's the open stance where I don't really turn my body enough. I think you guys can see that this is a mistake a lot of people are making is leaving those shoulders open and I'm, I'm probably hitting that 30 miles per hour and just don't feel any explosiveness in that swing. Okay, here's the closed stance that we're seeing you know a lot as well where the upper body tends to stay sideways. You know really not an explosive stroke that way unless I'm really conscious of it. Okay, so here's what I'm looking for from you guys, is set those feet open, feel that upper body go way back to the side here, and then come unleashing the upper body back off onto the hips, okay? Here we go. feels way more powerful, okay? And I don't feel out of control, which is the great thing. When you guys coil well, and you get that elastic feeling, you're gonna feel so much faster coming through the ball, and faster translates to power for you guys, all right? And I still think, again, you're gonna feel that your technique is intact, and therefore, adding power to the stroke is not making you guys wild or, or out of control, so to speak, okay? So, that rubber band analogy, use the body to coil the racket back and let the upper body swing off of the hips. That's a really key idea for you guys, okay? So I hope that was super helpful. Please click like below this video, and if you guys happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.